Hello everybody and welcome to this little full Campanotis Nico Borenses update. I'm gonna do a little series where I'm gonna do a little very slow update on all of my different ant colonies. Uh, I know I've just posted my all my ants last week, but today we're going a little bit more in depth in each of the separate species. And as you can see, this right here is the Carpenter ants, the Sugar ants, the Campanotis Nico Borenses. And right in here, hang on, hang on. Did we just lose? She was just right here. Oh, she, hang on. All right, the queen was just around. Oh, she, she still is, she's right here. Uh, this right here is the beautiful little queen. And as you can see, she has recently become quite fat, which is a lovely sight to see. So she is very, very well working. If we look up here at the top, um, maybe I'm just having a little excuse to test out my new phone uh, because I may have just decided to order a new phone. Um, because you can see we have a lovely little macro lens inbuilt. But as you can see, we have a lovely pile of eggs and very tiny larvae. And generally, the colony is doing extremely well in this wooden nest. This is, of course, the massive Foranto wooden nest that I recently acquired myself from. The one and only Foranto. Not the one and only, but the company Foranto. It's, it's a company of multiple people, so I don't know if you can say the one and only. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. We also have out here in the outworld. And you can see here, we do. I do love using the antimatter liquid feeders as a little water source because then we can feed them water without um and you be, the thing is when they live in a wooden nest it's very important for them to have a water source so yeah these antimatter liquid feeders bought from aesthetic ants but they are extremely well working because you can just see that yeah they have drunk a lot of it drunk drank they've emptied a lot of it also i do feed them a jelly pot every week or so and they empty it within 24 hour, hour 24 hours which i just believe is quite insane don't really feed them any sugar but out here is my sugar platform it's just a wakushi venus lid or venus uh, bottom uh, which i got from a broken venus um so i thought you know what that's a perfect way to put a little bit of sugar on top and record it in a nice way now of course what we really want to look at is the nest as and as you can see they are they're just doing extremely well. Um, something a little bit concerning happened the last uh, last time I checked. Uh, in here we did have a little bit of a wet spot. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit little bit miscolored, but it's turned back to normal again. But I'm gonna definitely keep an eye on this. This down here was the trash chamber for about a week or two weeks, and that's also how I knew that I I don't want to open this next part because yeah, they clearly don't need the next part just yet. So I'll wait a little bit for the colony to grow up a little bit more. I really like how big these chambers are because we have some very big chambers and it's interesting to watch how they use them for different things. Uh, we have the lovely brood chambers in here. I really love this uh, lens. I mean, you're gonna get so close and personal. Damn, look at these workers. Oh, they are beautiful ants. Beautiful ants. And as you can, you can just see how thick they are. The colony is so well fed, which is just lovely to see. I mean, all of the workers in here are just very, very fed up, which is just lovely. Um, we don't have too many cocoons at the moment. Um, we have a little bit down here and we have a little bit up here, but generally we don't have as, have as many cocoons as I would like. So I'm boosting them quite a bit with protein with uh, pretty much daily feeding of a quite big dubia roach, not an adult one, but a bigger dubia roach. Um, and two times a week, I'm doing a bigger feed. Um, and as you can see down here, we I have not cleaned it, so you can see a little bit of the residue. We have some wings down here, uh, but generally the colonies, I just love them. I'm, I'm, I'm really connected back to them after I put them into this wooden nest. I don't know if it's because they're on the wall, and normally I'm sitting here editing, don't look at the messy table, but I can just swipe over and look, and they're just, they just take the attention. I mean, just that you can see the queen so often hanging around. She's uh, up here now, hiding a little bit from the light. Ah, oh, this lens is amazing. Ah, oh, she's just a beauty, man. And this colony is just a beauty. I'm, real, I'm really just a fan of them. I mean, as an ant keeper, they are a lovely, lovely species to keep. As a content creator, they're quite boring. I can't do too much with them because they're just carpenter ants. But I have just released a full video on my main channel uh, where I tried to create a little bit of drama. But to be honest, they are just a lovely, lovely species. Um, definitely beginner friendly. This colony is about two years old. Uh, I fed them. Uh, protein once a week and heated them since the beginning but recently i started feeding them protein twice a week and now pretty much daily now this colony is being heated um we do have heat cables going around here um so it's not the best way of feeding them but my entire room is also heated to around 23 degrees uh 23 to 25 um so that way the colony is always quite 
on the hot side but we do have a middle part here where it's heated and the top part here where it's also heated in the beginning you could clearly see the cooling was on the bottom and the top and nothing in the middle because in the middle there isn't any heat but now they've just kind of established themselves all over the place it is quite interesting to follow we have this kind of trash in here which you can always see in the Ferranto nest um that kind of acquires uh, i don't know why it happens but yeah i mean it's just funny to follow I'm, i've just i've just i love having a new nest to test um, or not to test but just to follow a new nest i've used a lot of wakushi products because uh, for me the wakushi products are quite fail safe i've never really had any big uh, problems with them but i'm reaching out to some new products like the Ferranto. Um, and like the aesthetic ants nest right here, which we will do an update on this week. Later this week, I think, we'll do an update on this colony right here. So, yeah. But I think that's been a little update on the Campanotus nigorensis. These ants were initially bought from Ants Davy over in the United Kingdom. Uh, but many, they are very beginner friendly and pretty much all ant stores around the world are selling them. At least where they're allowed to be sold. Uh, you can find, um, you can also buy colonies with multiple queens. I can't remember who was out saying that they don't want to sell them with multiple queens, but I don't think you need a colony with multiple queens. This is all from one queen. One queen, two years without being really boosted with food or anything, just a good amount of food. And as you can see, they've done extremely well. Now, I want to boost them now because I want them to have more of this nest filled out. So that's why I'm doing pretty much daily feeding. But yeah, that has been a little bit of an update about my Campanotus Nicorensis. Oh man, I do love testing this camera. Wow, look at this beauty. I mean, we have, uh, when we are in macro here, it does uh, start talking a, little, talking a little bit, the camera. But wow. Wow. And for all those wondering, I did go out and get the most expensive phone you can pretty much get. This is all recorded on the iPhone 14 Pro. So, for all out there wanting to go for some cheap macro gear who doesn't want a proper camera um, and maybe needs a new phone, well, this may be the way to go because as you can see, we can get some very, very lovely clips of the ants in here. But yeah, guys, that has been an update on the Campanota Sneaker Rinses. And I just want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Throughout the next few weeks, we will update on all the colonies. So yeah, good things to look on. And uh, yeah, goodbye, guys.